What's going on guys? Welcome to Unbox the Box. Hope you guys are doing great as always. In today's video, we will be showing you guys how to set up Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. It's just a simple click of a button, but it helps me get new tech so I can make more helpful videos for you guys. Also, hit the bell button and please don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to push our video to the top so we can be helpful to many other viewers looking for help with their devices. Setting up your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is not that hard. However, some people might have more trouble than others. So I decided to make a quick video for you guys in case you'd like to see the whole process before you buy your tablet or to help you out along the way when you're going to be setting up your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Once you take your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 out of the box and power it on, Galaxy S6 will pretty much take you through the whole setup by itself and will help you along the way by giving you on-screen directions. When Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is fully powered on, you will see a let's go phrase on the screen in English, depending of course in which country you purchase your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 in, but the setup language could be changed if needed. Below the let's go phrase and language, you will see a blue arrow button. Once you click the blue arrow button, S6 will take you to your next step, which is just some information that you should check out like end user license agreement, privacy policy, sending of diagnostic data, information linking and receipt of marketing information. I did not go through the information in video in depth since this video is for demonstrational purposes only, but I strongly encourage you to review all of the information so you understand what are you actually agreeing to. Once you review all of the information, you can then put a check mark next to every section and then click next button, which will take you to the next step of Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 setup. In the next step, Galaxy Tab Tab S6 will ask you to choose your Wi-Fi network because once you are connected to your Wi-Fi, setting up Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 becomes even easier. And some part of the setup is done automatically by S6 itself, like your time and date. Once you choose your network and click next, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 will automatically check for updates, which is very convenient because you don't have to worry whether or not your tablet is up to date once you set it up. After that, your Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 will ask you to sign in to your Google account. Do not be afraid to provide your email address or sign into your Google account. This is simply done so you can stay connected, access your email and access the Google Play Store. Once you sign in, you will be prompted with Google Terms of Service, Google Play Terms of Service and Privacy Policy, which once again I will not be fully going through because this video is for for quick demonstrational purposes and not an educational video. But I encourage you guys to review Google, Google Play Terms of Service and Privacy Policy so you understand what you are agreeing to. Guys, smash that like button if so far the setup video has been helpful and comment down below if you have any questions. When you press agree, tablet will get all of your account info and take you to the next step, which is copy your apps and data. This could be useful in case you wish to transfer your apps and data from another device which has been linked to the same email. When you click next button, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 will take you to the next step and demonstrate on how you can transfer data from your old device. But since I don't need to transfer anything from any of my old devices, I'm just going to click don't copy. Once you finalize copying your apps and data or press don't copy, just like in my case, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 will take you to the next step and let you know that your account has been added and your email, contacts and calendar events will be synced to the tablet. The next step will be Google Assistant and I'm not going to jump in and explain what Google Assistant is because otherwise this video will be way too long. But since you sign into your Google account, Google Assistant will be automatically enabled and once your tablet will be set up, you will be able to directly interact with Google and ask 
things like how's the traffic, send message to someone, or even for Google to tell you a joke. After you are done with Google Assistant and press next, Galaxy Tab S6 will then proceed to Google Services part. And this is where you can select whether or not you want to back up to Google Drive, let Google collect your location data, allow scanning for Wi-Fi networks, send usage and diagnostic data, and install updates and apps. Once you click on accept, next step is to select how you want to protect your S6 from others. And the S6 will give you options like face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin or password. Guys, smash that like button if you think this setup has been very smooth thanks to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 and comment down below if you have any questions once again. When you're done with your protection measures, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 will ask you to review additional apps. Some people don't care about the apps that come pre-installed and some really hate that their tablets are being stuffed with bunch of apps that they barely use. So this is a great part of your S6 setup where you can choose not to install any apps to prevent wasting your memory or can select just a few which you will use the most in your opinion. After you press ok, the last and final step of Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 setup will be signing into your Samsung account. If you are wondering why do I need a Samsung account if I already have a Google account and Google Play Store, basically it's like an iCloud account for Apple devices and makes Samsung owners life much easier. It's up to you whether or not you want to make one but here are some benefits that you will have by registering for Samsung account you will automatically register your warranty with Samsung you can access your Samsung account check on your warranty status and get product support from the Samsung members app you will also be able to use Samsung ecosystem of devices such as the Samsung smart watches Samsung smart home devices and control them remotely from the phone while using the Samsung health app which saves your health data over the cloud. You can log in to your Samsung account on Samsung's website and track your phone or tablet if it goes missing using GPS. And also factory reset your phone remotely all from the web browser. Guys, smash that like button if you think it's worth registering with Samsung account and comment down below if you think otherwise and let us know why. Once you are done signing up for Samsung account or decide to skip, just like in my case, then Samsung Tab S6 will let you know that your setup is all done. Once you click finish, that's when you will be finished with your setup and Samsung Tab S6 will take you to your home screen and you'll be able to use your S6 to its full potential. Guys, please smash that like button if this video has been helpful to you and comment down below if you think I should have added something or taken something away to make this video much better. Thank you very much for watching my video on how to set up Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 guys. If you found this video helpful or just enjoyed it anyway, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to push our video to the top so we can be helpful to many other viewers who's looking for help with their devices. Please subscribe because it allows me to get more opportunities to get new tech for you guys and don't forget to smash the bell button to be notified for future awesome helpful content.